Mm -mm, one second. All right, so we're going to be going into Luke 5, and we're going to do 17. We're going to start at 17. Again, Grand Rising, and gratitude and Grand Rising. I got my D-baby right here. She's trying to read the Bible, okay? Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go into this again. Remember, I'm never here to tell you what it is, what it ain't. I'm sharing what it looks like to me. And, um, yeah, we're talking about the stolen properties, okay? Um... Again, that's the energy of uh, friend and foe, okay? Which is Monroe, March 4th, 1821. Dread Sunday. The heck is this? 4-8-1864, passed in the Senate. 131-1865, the House. The Lincoln approved two in one, 1865 by Congress and ratified 12 6 1865. What is this? Title April 1st begins, April 8th, outer court, April 16th, and 16 days. Oh, I wonder if this is the um. Annuals of King Judah, a king of Judah. I wonder if this is talking about. I'm just reading these notes that's here. Mines killed by hippo. Hmm. I wonder if this is talking about the uh, Declaration of Independence or the Constitution. I wonder if that's the like a timeline for one of those two. Anyways, okay. So again, it said one day while he was teaching, okay. Let's see. Often withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. So again, you know, prayer, I look at it as like praying. I think this is where we, we ended up, where we ended last time. All right. One day while he was teaching, okay, some Jewish leaders, religious leaders, okay. And um, teachers of law were sitting nearby okay so yeah this might be talking about again like i said some entities like us how we do on here online um we could be talking about lawyers it's funny because i did get a text message from a lawyer today all right um on sunday wait what's today oh it's monday why am i thinking it's sunday Oh my goodness, that was a delay. Wow, I thought today was Sunday for sure. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. So, oh my goodness. Why was I... Hold on a second, let me finish this. It's going to take me about 20 minutes. It'll be all right. Um. So yeah, maybe this is... Okay, hold on a second. Okay, just let me do... Okay, just let me. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, hold on one second. <clears throat> okay, so again, there was a sign that came in to me about Monday, right? But it's so funny because I my I feel like my um my compass was off today. I don't know why I was thinking today was Sunday, but it, I guess it really don't matter. But um, anyways, the same one day while he was teaching, some of the Jewish leaders came. Okay, and law and sitting nearby, it seems that these men showed up from every village in Galilee and Judea as well as Jerusalem, and the Lord's healing power was upon them. So again, I feel like this is the energy of some masculines, possibly even, I think some masculines that want to, like, I don't know, it feels like something happened. I, I don't know, and I just feel like there's something about, like, somebody was murdered or like something weird has happened. And I feel like, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this has got something to do with something close by, to be honest with you. And um, I don't know why. I, I'm, I'm getting a lot of downloads just through this little passage right here. Like, this is talking about, like, these are some people that's getting together to see what they're going to do with somebody's estate. It's almost like like a common law husband of mine passed away or something, right? And And left everything to me, right? 
But because he had these relations with these other feminines, it seemed like I'm left with nothing in all of these feminine energies. There's at least three that I see in my mind right now that have YouTube channels that are tarot readers um, are going to end up with this estate. It's almost like also this person. OK, it's almost like, OK, what I'm hearing here is like this person went to maybe even my soulmate, which is my earthly <clears throat> husband for the past 30 years or whatever to to give them this information mm. and for some reason it didn't get to me yeah. you know what i'm saying but it's like oh. it's like the same way that i have blockages i wonder if this person was aware that somebody gave this to them you know like it's just some weird like i don't know it's like something weird going on here and i don't know it's almost like almost like there's an energy that somebody else is about to pass away too right that somebody may have been involved with this person or something and I don't know, maybe it's the vid, maybe it's something like an illness or something like this. And, you know, it's almost like this person is maybe going to be, um, I don't know. It's like somebody else is going to be passing away and it's just weird. It's something weird that I'm hearing or seeing here. Again, this will be past, present, or future. Um, yeah, but it's, it seemed like just out of spite, somebody is... Is, is purposely trying to use everything they have to make sure that I end up with nothing. Like there's this whole five of pentacles here. Like somebody wants to see me out on the street. Um, and I feel like, again, like I said, I feel like these, there's been secret meetings and arrangements being set up to leave me kind of like in the dust. So it's kind of like almost like this, this uh, twin flame, twin Ray was saying, you know, I know that they all teaming up, you know, they want you to leave me in the dust. Right. And then now it's just to the point where like, damn, is this person now teaming up with these people against me or did this person pass away and now these people have like uh, some kind of, uh, they have some kind of, I don't know, something with this inheritance or whatever the hell this would be. Okay. It just seems like this, like, you know, all of a sudden everybody want to show their face now. It's just something weird when it comes to these energies. Okay. And I keep hearing like something like, um, a million miles away and then there's like um something about like um set a sag and i don't know why there's a sagittarius energy that um may be okay i i know that there's a, a sag energy <clears throat> on youtube a tarot reader but also i don't know she reminds me of the person that lives next door to me like the girl that when she come next door she usually probably don't have like a like, the Sag girl don't show her face in her videos, but I noticed today she showed her face, right? But then again, you know, like, it reminded me of that chapter that we were reading around Christmas when somebody was meeting up next door because it's like nobody lives there, but they say they live there, you know? And so it's like, is this like a spy house or something like this? Like, it's almost like something, some kind of organization, something was going on in that home right there, dude. It's something was going on for the past year or two up in that. Something was going on with that home or something. You know, it's making me think about Bathsheba um, or Sheba's temple or something like that. You know what I'm saying? That That's what it's making me think about. Okay? Because a bath, she, you know, that's where somebody take a bath or, you know what I'm saying? It's something going on where some somebody might be like a doppelganger or some kind of like tethered energy nearby. I mean, it's just very weird that I'm saying it like this, but this is how I'm kind of seeing it here. Cause it show it, it's like um in, something about a child as well here, and I feel like all these images of the two the two masculines above, you know, have been set up like somebody put a whole thing together to make it appear as if these people are still active here, um or these are the ones we're dealing with, but we might be dealing with a doppelganger or the original version of them, you know. I'm not, it's reminding me of like the old Kanye, right? Um, it's also reminding me of like um. I feel like Drake and Kanye both ha made references to being cloned in their music at least some time, at some point in time. So it's just kind of strange here. All right. And then again, if somebody is replaced or altered, you know what I'm saying? Do they remember these things? Am I that voice that's supposed to be that voice of reason that's supposed to be reminding them what we're here for? And again, if, if my, my voice is blocked out, then you know what I'm saying? They can't get the message. It's like, do you, you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm the only one that goes through the motions. You know, I'm, I'm the only one that goes through this kind of thing where these people are almost in and out whenever this happens throughout lifetimes. 
It's kind of strange. It's kind of strange. But then again, like, then what or who is this next to me? You see what I'm saying? This is just... So it's, it's, it's kind of strange. And something is very fucking strange here. It's almost like this person... Like, these all people know each other in the background, right? They just keep me in the dark, like, in this jar energy, right? And it's almost like... I just don't know. I just don't know. But it's almost like somebody doesn't want to lose me. Like, something, someone or something wants to hold me here. All right? And, and it, to, to be able to thrive. It's very strange. <laughs> Is very strange here. And I feel like this is why my finances have been. Because now all of a sudden where I feel like. I feel like there's something is coming to an end. All the stuff is. The stacks. Stacks are. Everything is laid. You know to how it's going to be. Or how they think it's going to be right. And um, now all of a sudden. Orders are coming in on my on my websites again. You know so it's kind of like a real fucked up thing here. Okay. Because th th like I said. This is people. Like if I'm supposed to be in court, then who who where is my letters to to appear in court? Where's where's my documentation? Where's my you know what I'm saying? I I just don't. I maybe I'm just not all the way fully equipped, right? But it just seems like something very disgusting has happened here, and I feel like there is a lot of people involved in this. I feel like there's a lot of people. I feel like somebody was sick and they came to me and wanted to. Again, it's almost like that energy of like I left it. Like I gave you everything I love or I, I left it all to you. Right. But but it was it appears to me that this person, I haven't seen them really in any kind of footage or videos or anything like this. It's almost like the gods are vacating like the earth and leaving certain things to certain people. And certain people have made sure to block off somebody just to make sure that they don't have nothing. And that's what I'm just saying. They, these girls don't want me that you to have nothing. And it's this whole energy of like. You know, I swear these bitches nosy. You know, they want the tea on me. I swear these bitches nosy. So it's like this whole energy is just like, I don't know. I, I think it's just bothersome to me. You know what I'm saying? And it, and it's, and it shows that these three, in, these three entities or people are happy with how things ended. And I feel like that's talking about the three of cups. It's talking about these three feminine energies. And I think one, you know, maybe um, uh, Lillian. You know what I'm saying? I mean, one may be spiritual sage and one may be um, chosen one. Or ch well, however the fuck you. But again, some of these people look familiar to me. But like I said, it's almost like, is this the soulmate that's been here with me for 30 something, 33 years? You know what I'm saying? What is the difference between? Because I feel like, it, again, the other energy has decided to, at the last minute, give someone up to the game now is that by choice is that something somebody had to do is this somebody because they a cowardice energy you know what i'm saying and so they didn't want to take this gift that was given to them like that they worked so hard it's almost like this person worked at this for like 15 12 10 years or something and then all of a sudden you know, I don't know. I really have no idea. You know, but I feel like whatever this is with this God energy, um, they don't know or they don't realize just because they think they tricked me like this is the full energy here. I know it's not. So, again, it's almost like being away from your soulmate. Like, maybe again, because this person maybe, I don't know, we might be dealing with soulless beings or something here. So they don't sense that, but they don't know that I'm still someone that has a heart and a soul. You know what I'm saying? And I still feel. And so, you know, it's almost like, I don't know, maybe even a person enjoys to get these type of responses or reactions out of me. I don't know. I just feel like something very twisted has happened here. But the messed up thing about it is that it would be, you know what I'm saying, how that would be illegal for somebody to do that. Because, again, because of the marriage in the first place, how can somebody do that? <clears throat> that would erase the fact of any of these other people being wives or whatever. You know what I'm saying? If this is if this relationship has been if, if, if there's been a marriage for this long, it's almost like somebody faking their death. Right. And then going off and living all these different lives. And then the first wife end up with nothing. 
because all the other wives got together and decided to cheers to the shit and leave one woman out. And that's the original woman. So all of these bitches don't even really matter to me. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. But it's something about me. It's something about people knowing me, my destiny, what I'm here to do, why these people don't want me to get whatever the fuck this is. It's something about even this masculine energy that doesn't really have emotions and shit, but wants to keep me here. Doesn't like a small win for me. It bothers them very much so. It's almost like... um imprisonment somebody might be able to say okay well then you can just get up and you can go get a job and but i have businesses that i'm running here it's not my fault that someone decided to use technology or whatever against me to make sure that i'm not able to continue to make money throughout this past two years of whatever the fuck this was it's almost like somebody put in a wheel like within two years this person should be having this 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 and that and if they don't then the the, the stuff will go to somebody but nobody never told me anything like, I'm having to really go into my fucking soul to even sense what I'm, what I'm, do you see what I'm saying? I had to go, this is the route I had to take for everything that I found out about this shit. <laughs> so same way some people come in acting like they, they here to help you and they not. They're here to hinder you. Same way people in here, you know what I'm saying, act like they're trying to give you little signs and shit like that. But they are part of the whole, they are part of the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? They know that you don't know nothing. But they, but it, it, that's what the, I guess the fucking, that's what it was supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. Because we're dealing with replica energy here. So this person doesn't, it's almost like the new Pharaoh that came in that didn't know, right? The people. So again, didn't know would mean this is somebody new. They did not maybe engage in sex or some kind of sexual immorality or some kind of something here but it's just like why not then like you know like if it's on a spiritual level like i don't you know what i'm saying i don't know why not why would this person stay at bay why would this person stay away you know what i'm saying why would wh what is this what is this it's definitely some kind of something being used here you know maybe there's some restraining order or something like something is done here that, that's totally in the dark for me, but I can sense it. I can still, it's like, I don't know if y'all know what I'm saying when I can sense it. It's like something in the back of my head, the back of my ear, like, it's like a sensation. It's like a, it's like something where it's telling me, it's, it's channeling this energy or this information, right? But there's no visuals of in, any of this stuff. There's no visuals in my mind, but there's a child also here. There's a child, and I feel like it has to do with both of these masculines. It has to do with both of these freaking masculines. And if they're still alive, then they're not in their right mind. It's, it keeps making me think about bludgeons, and it keeps on t making me think about the head. But this is that, this is that um, prophecy from 1920, 1921, and we're in 2022 right now. This is that prophecy where the father, where I, I believe it was Elijah you know, um, had struck the father or whatever. And I think the father of the girl Esther died, right? So it, it even bringing me back to the energy of, um, it's even bringing me back to the energy of, what's his name? It's bringing me back to some scenes that I remember when this shit first started with an argument between two people. And one of these people would have been irritated a bit against me. Again, again, depending on who and how. Like, because I think more people than seen videos of mine than I ever really would even think. They've just been reserving a number so I wouldn't get big and be able to tell my story to many people that I would like to. Right? They want to have control over that. But I don't know. It was like something that me and this girl got into this argument about. Um, me and um, one of my cousin's baby mama got into an argument about i think chance the rapper all right um and it was about something about you know whatever like uh i think it was something about his wife or something like that and um i feel like i don't know there's something here there's something here because when i was reading that book i was picking up on energies then and it was pointing me to certain people it was pointing me to certain people that's going to be a part of this prophecy here okay and I just, I just don't know. 
Like, I can't even tell you the whole scale of what the fuck I'm trying to say here. But this has something to do with also giving somebody power, right? Willing power, okay? It's crazy. Because I feel like I was born and bred for this. And somebody actually uh, allowed somebody to breadcrumb me, love bomb me, and then also take the essence of me. You know what I'm saying? And they still can't. You see what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers that's still learning as they go right now. The shit that I teach. And and, and, and you're going to think that they're better off something for... Like, what is it about? This is the part that I just don't get. Whether this is just a position or something somebody was trying to make sure somebody got into or whatever it is. Something devastating. Something weird happened here. Because I do believe we are in a sense of Jerusalem in the spirit realm. In this area here. Okay, so it says, then, then um, look, some men carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat. They tried to push through the crowd to Jesus, but couldn't reach him. Okay, or her. Okay, and it says, um, so they went up on the roof above him. And took off some tiles and lowered the sick man down in the crowd. Still on his sleeping mat right in front of Jesus. It says, see their faith, Jesus said to the man. Now, hold on one second. This is making me think about, um, hold on. You know, this is making me think about, you know, this make me think about, this make me think about, like, um, this make me think about, like, one of the first episodes, now, I know this probably ain't it, but this is what it's making me think about, it's making me think about one of the first episodes of, um, one of the first episodes of, like, a 600, 500, 600 pound life or something like that, like, I don't even think it was called that. It was a show. It was the first time that we would have seen somebody that was obese being removed from a home. You see what I'm saying? The, I, I can't remember what it. She doing this on purpose. <laughs> She's one of them. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> but um, yeah. This is what this is reminding me of. And I know this is probably not what this is talking about. It probably is talking about like a sick person or whatever. But this, like I said, this is what this is making me making me think about. It's almost like somebody saying that they would have to roll over to somebody. In order to see somebody. Or it's almost like, you know, take me as I am or it's still the same me. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm just wondering, like, could this be some instance where somebody did do something like, I'm not going to go too deep into it. I feel like I'm seeing something here. This could also just be somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's stagnant or something like this as well. Hmm. It said, my friend, your sins are forgiven. Who does this fellow think he is? Okay. The... This could also be like, I'm sensing somebody that was sleeping, like in a coma or somebody. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's been, was down or something like. 
You know what I'm saying? They they had to spend some downtime. I keep seeing the four of swords. Like I'm hearing death becomes her. Like when somebody died, they killed the other person too. Like the sword is representing that other person not knowing that they died too. You know, it's almost like somebody being dead. Shit. You know what I'm saying? And coming back to life or somebody being in jail and somebody being dead or something and they came back to life. Maybe spent some time in purgatory or some shit like that. Like, like on American Gods when the dead wife or whatever spent some time in purgatory. And then she met the Irish dude, right? And and because of the uh, gree or whatever it was called, you know, after he died, something, it got on her and then it brought her back to life. But how did she die? Is this a spiritual death? Is this a mental prison? What kind of world are we really fucking living in? How much did I really think that I knew? Again, because Yeshua came for the lost sheep, all right? And then I'm realizing that yesterday something must have happened here because for some reason I was let sent a like I left the house because of some shit. But when I came back, you know, if mm, when I came back, it felt as if. I seen this bonfire, like these people at this house and everybody was there and there was some kind of fire going on. And the fact that we were reading the scripture that was saying, first, let me go and, you know, help bury my father. And they said, let the dead bury the dead. So it's like some parallel universe because... Because I had to backtrack and go down that street, then go past that, wondering what something was making me think, what the what is going on there? Because I already seen one of these fires already that happened. It was a weird one, and and I happened to be reading a book, The Spring, about that prophecy at that time. And something, I was sitting outside on the trampoline, and something came, like a whirlwind or something, came in and told me to look here, look there. Now what do you see? Now what's wrong? So something, I'm 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 feeling like this is the valley of the dead, dead some dead bones, a ghost town. Like it's something fucking crazy, y'all. Cause I really don't see. You know how we were talking about like if, you know one day we're just chilling or whatever. We're talking about like what if like something is a simulate. You know how. It was a like a meme or something said, you know how you in the simulation, you know, do you ever see any of your neighbors bringing groceries in the house? And we was like laughing about it. But you know what I'm saying? If you start really thinking about this stuff, you know, I really don't, you know, I know it's, we're getting over the vid or whatever, so-called, but it's really not that much activity. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm somebody that pay attention to stuff like that. Like many more people used to walk through here. You know what I'm saying? Many more cars used to come through here, but it's almost like nowadays something is very off. Even like that that preview for that show, where again I think it was a a, a so called African American family um, that moved into a community, and then all the people that were not like them were like looking at them and like stalking them. Like it's just something like something weird like this here okay like like we're, <laughs> excuse me we're going through a period where there's going to be some kind of like highly motivated like hunger games um race war kind of thing like where people are going to start looking at people differently because like we're going to go back in time almost it's like what this maybe looks like here spiritually you know what i'm saying Mm. 
Because mm. I keep hearing, or else you'll die. Do go somewhere or else you're going to die. So I don't know if we're talking about like a nuclear bomb. Mm. You know, and we already did that video on nuclear. Seeing that it's something that has to do with the mind though also. But again, it says um, here. And that's why I sometimes. Don't let her cry because. Give her whatever it is because I I, I want to finish this. So again, this, like like I said, it's like um that that song about you're running out of time. You got to surrender, okay? Basically, telling this energy that you're the only one that goes through the motions, right? So it's kind of like Mother Earth or Gaia. You know what I'm saying? Or wisdom or the Ruach being a living being on this plane right now. Esther, the ether. Something even about the Milky Way here. Something fucking galactic, okay? It's almost like E.T. phone home, okay? Like, are you ready to take the call? But it's almost like somebody else took the seat. I told y'all this, the golden ticket... And the, um, the the Polar Express tickets keep showing up here. As if somebody else took the ticket. Like, I feel like this energy, this masculine, this other portion of this masculine, I don't know, they don't want to face me for some reason. They're, I don't know. Because I can't imagine this person seeing the growth and seeing the development and seeing the things that I've gone through and actually... You know what I'm saying? Choosing to deny access or something. Like, I just can't, I can't imagine that. If, what, 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 with me looking back now, as much time and money and everything this person must have put into this. To not be able to fake. But again, that me maybe that means that this person is, ha have been, you know, dirty. And, and that this person can't come to God because they won't, whatever. They don't want to do the work or something like this. And. You know, I don't know. So they try to flip the script, make it seem some kind of way. It's just, it's something weird here. And it says, have the, okay. So again, it says, why is this blasphemy? It says, I, the Messiah, have the authority on earth to forgive sins. So I don't know about this. This might e even be this Messiah person, somebody calling themselves the Messiah because it said, you know, um, it's, I'm, I'm hearing, um, what is it called? Many will come in my, my name saying that they are, oh my goodness. I can't remember. I don't want to mess it up and will fool many. Okay. So again, this is making me think about a feminine energy playing the part of Yeshua or a Messiah here and, and saying that they have the authority to do these things, but they really don't. This is this is this makes me think about a false messiah energy here. You know what I'm saying? Um mm. This this is this make me think this here. There's a Okay, but then again, it also is, oh man, this, this trips me out because it's like a twin flame energy, like somebody mirroring energy, a mirroring energy, a doppelganger or a replica or something of that nature here. Because I feel like this is what my energy was yesterday as far as it comes to like the Scorpio energy. But again, you know, it, like I said, it's that whole thing about be careful who you let, who you help up. There's a part of him that's not, that wasn't lost or isn't lost though. There really is. That's still connected, but it's fading. And I don't know if this has to do with a death. Because again, I'm gone for the night. I come back. Strange things happen in the neighborhood. And then, and then somebody's having a party with a, some kind of bonfire in the middle of the day. This is not the first time. It was a spiritual essence that came from the smoke from that fire. 
Okay. No, 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 no. And then again, man, the energy man, the man kept, some kept saying man here. I hope that's not too much. Uh-uh, stop. Yeah, so something was complete here. It's almost like this person could have needed me, but was too proud to ask or something here. Also remind me of the gunshots or whatever from like a week ago or something. And I was concerned about this house that I didn't see any movement or something here. But I did, you know, talk to the authorities, but still. Mm. So I'll prove to you by healing this man, okay? All right, so, but again, this Messiah part right here is giving me dual energy here. But talk is cheap. Anybody can say that. So I'll prove it to you by healing this man. Then turning to the paralyzed man, he commanded, pick up your stretcher and go home for you are healed. What is this making me think? You know what? This makes me think about the whole brown deer energy because even I was about to get this hotel in brown deer. This is giving me this whole brown deer energy like I told y'all. It's like somebody got like a buck being shot. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like this person is like letting me know that they're free. This makes me think about the cards we pulled earlier and how I said that half of the kundalini was cut off. Right? So it's also giving me that, hint, that energy of um, I took the half, she took the whole. I guess you know now. Okay? So this makes me think about when we saw that, when I saw that earlier with the card sitting on top of that kundalini of the empress. Okay? So maybe this is even not even having to do with the kundalini. It could have something to do with people taking shit that don't belong to them. You know what I'm saying? All right? But then again, it could also have something to do with taking a kingdom. Really? Also, this is the paralyzed man. So this is also making me think about, like I said. Why is she doing that on purpose? You know? You know, this also giving me um, Jimmy energy from the one show. Oh, the one show. Why is it not coming to my um mind right now? What the hell? Hold on. Okay. The show, uh, oh yeah, the Degrassi. Okay. This man is about Neil Degrassi. Mm. And I don't know, Bill Nye, the science guy. I don't know. Like, this is making me think about the whole tethered energy or twin flame energy in a different way right now. 20 year or 20, 20, 2003 to 2016. Hmm. And, and then David Blaine. Beyond magic. Hmm. All right, because over the summer I heard gunshots right here in this neighborhood, and um, a couple like a couple minutes later, again I showed I think I showed that image on here. Somebody showed me again a picture of 
they didn't show me, but when I was going through my feed, I thought it was very strange, and I still have the picture on my phone of, um, you know, more of his, the way he looked on that show, okay? It was like a blast from the past, but he was laying there, like, de dead on the ground, okay? And um, that's the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. Like, I think it was around the time when that whole shooting happened, the Oxford shooting, which I said made me think about the red heifer, right? It's almost this energy of somebody saying, right now, you should have ducked. But it's almost like I put up something a minute ago about Drake and the duck. And then it's almost like this energy, like I was standing, like I'm just trying to figure out what kind of sick games we playing here. Because this is making me think about the West World. Because remember, in the West World, they could go and kill people and shit. They could hunt you down. They could do these things or whatever and kill you or whatever. But the one lady ended up breaking through the Matrix and realizing she had a child and shit like that. Right? So, again, it feels like there's something. Like, one day I was standing in my kitchen and I was looking up at the ceiling like, what the? Because every time I go by that window, it say I was hearing, like, in the summertime, shit a ducked. Okay? So... When I was looking up at the ceiling, I seen like blood, like, I don't know. I was wondering what the hell that is. Cause I'm, I'm the only one really cooking something like that in here when I used to cook really. And I seen this stuff. It looked like, kind of like blood splatter on the ceiling. And it just kept like, y'all know but on this channel, man, I be talking about some crazy stuff, but it's not really, you know what I'm saying? Like this might be the thing that somebody's trying to use to push me over the top so they can claim something, but I'm just a different type of being. I see differently. I it, it must be a gift or something here. Like I can see again, past, present, and future. This could be something that could like possibly help solve like, you know, cold cases or something. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. At one point in time, I did want to be a detective. I don't think that's what I want to do now. But you know what I'm saying? I did. Unless we talk about like old artifacts and shit in museums around the world or something, you know, like, you know, something like that, but, anyways, it's like, something strange and very strange or whatever has happened here, okay, it just has, it just has, Because that was traumatizing. Like I've went, I've gone through much trauma, but again, I'm very still put together. I feel like it's easy for people on the outside looking in, seeing that I keep it at a minimal of how I see here on this platform. Because I know people are waiting to try to get me in some kind of position or some. I don't think they probably need to do it anymore. They were trying to hurry up and try to do something like this before whatever this is that's coming to a close with whatever somebody's going to be trying to inherit or get or steal from me. They were using those threats before, but I think they're chilling now because I feel like they think they won, so they don't have to do that anymore. Try to get me, you know what I'm saying, some other kind of way. Hmm. But anyways, it said Jesus knew what they were thinking, and he replied, why is this blasphemy? Well, okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, and they said that have the authority of earth to give, um, to forgive sins. So, again, if you look at me and my energy, I was forgiving energies for, for sins yesterday. But, again, that image came up and said, be careful who you help up, right? Only to feel like, again, maybe this energy, again, maybe have taken the head of a duck or a head of a, I don't know. Huh. Mm-hmm. But I feel like maybe this person also used their Messiah card, right? A, a soul sibling or something like that. Use their Messiah card, right? To free some of these females from persecution. Because I'm here, like, take them bitches out the trial. You don't love me like my child. But that's how, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, <laughs> again, it's been some old funny shit going I was just talking about this today with my daughter. Because we're not dealing with regular energy no more. The motherfuckers, been, the culture's been changed on motherfuckers. You understand what I'm saying? The game done been changed. Literally.
People ain't the same no more. It's a whole nother world within a world going on here already. And I feel like, you know, somebody say they care too much about me to change me, but I think they didn't change me because they didn't want me to see. Or didn't want me to change because they didn't want me to see. And I feel like, no, that's all right. Because I think also this person was very excited because I brought something up yesterday that I think could have been a determining factor for another, for a feminine energy, my doppelganger or my evil twin or arch nemesis or whatever, the one that maybe this person wants to run off with or wanted to run off with, right? And I feel like that's him pulling that card. You know, I'm pulling the card to say, to, to, you know what I'm saying? To save him. And at the same time, he's trying to save the person that wanted to take me down. You see what I'm saying? No, no. If you see what I'm saying. And me saying, I'm tired of these bitches doing this treacherous ass shit. They have to pay for it. But it's almost like his energy every time. Every time. It's almost like, again... It's somewhere I feel like I need saving because these energies are coming at me because of the truth that I'm spitting, which these bitches are never trying to touch. They'll never touch on the shit that I touch on. They too afraid or they feel like they got something to live for within this whatever the fuck this is. Or maybe they know better. They know by me doing it that it's going to end me up somewhere where they don't want to be. But nobody never told me that there was a choice or alternate or nobody warned me. You know what I'm saying? So I just do what I do. Plus, I feel like that got something to do with some type of power. A higher power than whatever the hell is going on down here because I came here to do something. Not fit in, but change some shit. <clears throat> yeah. I feel like when they bring these energies back, you know what I'm saying, they they lose a little piece of something. Because some was like, not without my daughter or not my daughter or something like that. But then something was trying to show me, I feel like that that's not really your daughter, though. You know what I'm saying? Something weird here. So it's almost like, you know, when somebody says you're going to give your first child or whatever up to, you know, this God or something like this. What? It's almost like, it's almost like, um, no, I'm talking about something else. Um, it's almost like on a spiritual essence that I'm hearing like not a people to put you with a not a people. Okay. Um, Let's see. Anyways, okay. I, I, I just...